Hi guys, this is the Candy Country One coming back after a long, long time on YouTube. Now I know this kind of sucks uh, coming back on YouTube after two, three months, two, three, four months later. But you know I can't just help it because I had my exams all this time, so I didn't get any time to be honest to come come on YouTube and YouTube and make videos. So so because now some of my exams are over and. I've got some time to make some videos and stuff so yeah I'm back on YouTube and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to enable widgets on iOS 8 now the good news about this thing is if you have iOS 8 installed on your device you don't need to jailbreak your device to get widgets well you can even get widgets on your device without jailbreaking your device you can get right here in the notification center so uh, for this, the, some things, some basic things you need is um, first of all you need iOS 8 installed on your device. If you don't have iOS 8, you won't be able to get widgets without jailbreaking. You need to have iOS 8 to have the widgets enabled on your device. So if you complete that requirement, the next one is that um, you need you need to have the applications which support the widgets. Not all the applications on the App Store support widgets, some of them do, so that's a bad thing. But yeah, if you have those applications, then you gotta go into the settings and you gotta go into the notifications and you gotta enable uh, the uh, access to the notification center for all the app for the applications you want them to act as widgets. So I'm not gonna show that uh, to you in this one, but you just need to do that. After you've uh, given given the applications the access to your notification center, then you've got to open up the notification center. And right now you can see my notification center is just the basic one, just the default one uh, with stocks, calendar, and you know the basic forecast and stuff. So once you've done all of this, you got to go into this one, edit, which is right over there. You got to click that and then you can choose the applications right over here which says do not include you can choose any of the application you want to you, you want them to like you can choose any applications uh, which can act as widgets in your notification center so for example uh, I'm gonna be choosing battery I want battery to act as a widget in my notification center so I'm gonna be choosing this app I just press the green button over there and there you go the battery thing popped up in the uh, in the active uh, in the active part of the notification center uh, and of course you can even remove it if you want by clicking the minus sign over there I'm not going to do that of course so and I'm even going to select some more apps like launcher this one and this one so there you go I have my apps which I want uh, them to be uh, which I want them to act as widgets I'm sorry for the way I'm speaking so yeah so you can even rearrange them of course uh, for example I want my battery here I want my launcher here and then NDTV and news digest there you go I don't want stocks because I don't really care about stocks I don't even open that app I open that app like once in a year and that doesn't matter to me of course so that really sucks so anyways so once you've done once you're done doing that you gotta click the done button and there you go the widgets are showing up in the notification center now so battery it's showing how much battery how much juice is left on my device uh, yeah, it's showing the it's showing the applications which I can directly launch from the notification center it's showing the news and it's showing the uh, news of course yeah <laughs> so you can even add more applications and make your customize your lock screen and it's you know it's sort of really it's it's sort of useful and it's sort of cool too uh, because like you can directly access your photos reminders settings through the notification center directly like boom and there you go my setting pops up so that's the good thing um, so yeah that's how you enable widgets on your iDevice right away like that so yeah 
any if you have any queries any doubts about this thing uh, any doubts about video if you don't if you didn't understand any part or something you can just leave a comment down below so yeah you can check that up and if you like this video please subscribe and just stay tuned for the next video thanks a lot see you guys in the next video